Hi folks, Coleman Alderson here, back with you to discuss the topic of planting and uh, rooting cuttings from our purple tree collards that we just received today. They came all the way from California and here they come into winter in North Carolina, Zone 7A. What we're going to do is try to get these, these rooted and they came like this. They were wrapped up pretty good, but they look rather rough. We have a little bit of uh, shoots coming out along the stem. And per the instructions that came with it, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna cut this end off just slightly, and then we're gonna take that and root it in to the, um, well, we're gonna dip it in some hor hormone, rooting hormone, this stuff. You can get it just about anywhere. Uh, it's a powder and so I've laid it out and we're gonna do a quick little clip here on the end because the end here if you look at it it's just you know it's kind of sealed off it doesn't look like it's very receptive and as far as I know whenever we've tried to do any sort of rooting it's good to have a fresh cut to uh, start with and we'll take this and we'll dip it in powder right maybe get a little bit along the edges that's where the the roots tend to grow along the outer margin here you see now we got this okay and I'm going to tap it a little bit the instructions are to plant it about halfway into the rooting medium and what we're using for rooting medium set this down for a second what we're using for rooting medium is again we're going back to our um, our product black gold and this is basically for raised bed and potting mix so it's a little bit heavier duty than the seeding mix that we use to get seed started but we just love this product it's organic has some nutrients built into it and uh, it's our go-to for this kind of thing now I have an odd pot here we have these other guys planted in just like I showed you putting the rooting hormone in there, tapping it. And now I'm going to poke a big hole with my finger and stick it down in there. Stick it deep. And they recommend planting it about halfway the length of the cutting. So here we have this. The follow-up to this will be to mist it in or water it in. I suppose I can water it in here. And uh, we rigged up a little... A little pump inside our water barrel that's what you hear humming away which makes it a lot more convenient than uh, running out and grabbing water in the middle of winter so this always stays unfrozen and uh, we have to replenish it now and then but what uh, what it recommends is now you just water in around the stem let the soil settle do a little cleanup at the same time and uh, get these guys all nice and warmed in and after we do that I said warmed in watered in after we do that I'm going to set these on a heating mat that'll be about eh, about 70 to 75 degrees these guys are from California remember <laughs> and our mission in trying to grow tree collards which are not hardy they're not hardy in zone 7 uh, 7b 7b or 7a our mission is to see if we can um, kind of coddle them into growing in the spring and maybe plant them out in a larger container, something like that, that we can bring in in the winter and provide winter protection and then recycle again, just like we had showed you in a previous episode where we're talking about taking Gynura procumbens or longevity spinach and carrying it through the winter in the greenhouse, setting it out in containers when it's warm in the spring, and growing it through the summer, and then you know just repeating that cycle. So that's what we're about today. We're planting purple collards, which are reputedly better tasting than the green tree collards. So they're purple tree collards that we're setting out today. If you all are doing any of this sort of thing, please send us a comment write it up on facebook let us know send photos we love seeing those meanwhile um, we're up on the youtube channel 
and up above there there's a little bell if you want to get an alert to uh, have us alert you to various things that are coming out on our on our YouTube channel site and also you can subscribe we'd like to have more subscribers because you know the more the more we have the more fun we have the more we can learn together so this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. You all take good care. We'll see you later. So long.